Welcome to Mornings with Mom Bell on Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday morning, not Monday. Monday was so crazy busy. And for some reason, our Wi-Fi is not working right. So for me to download a video, it's taking like literally days. Maybe that's because I live back in the woods. I don't know. And yes, you're right. I do have a Christmas sweater on. And I pulled out my Christmas mug. Tell me that's not the cutest ever. Look at that little deer. Um, I just can't take it. It's been kind of cold and rainy here. Today it's cold. And I just love Christmas so much. Like I honestly can't take it. And so I'm just like debating, should I start getting Christmas decorations out? Is it too early for Christmas? <laughs> I love Christmas so much. We've already watched Christmas shows. I think we've watched like four. Lately, we've been watching like the Disney Halloween shows with my kids. Um, any chance that it is cold, we grab our blankets, cocoa, coffee, and just watch a show. Like that's our excuse. Um, we've had two fires going in our fireplace last night and two nights ago. So it's been kind of chilly at night. We haven't gotten our wood stove yet because we're trying to hold out because it's just a lot of work. We heat our house with um, with hot water heat. And so we have an outdoor wood stove that heats the water. The water comes into the baseboard heating. We also have in-floor heating in the basement and in the new game room. And so that also heats the house. So I think we're going to have to get that going because it is getting a little cold here. You know, um, usually we're not this cold in September. Usually we're decent. We usually get like our our um our crazy like mock summer in September and then in October like into September October is so beautiful the leaves are beautiful um and then usually the middle of October is when it starts to get rainy yucky and we usually have snow before Halloween I mean I can't even tell you I, I don't remember a Halloween where we haven't been walking through slush and snow it's just like clockwork um and so uh I just feel I, I feel I feel-y, I feel-y, I feel-y. I feel very um, festive. Like I want to get out my 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 Christmas uh, clothes. Uh, I, I'm keeping this little guy out. And my daughter's probably gonna walk in and see me with this. I actually have this on. And look at it, it actually, uh, it lights up. <laughs> but I know when she walks in, she's gonna be like, Please, mom. We're going to go, oh, mom. But, you know, my family expects it. Like, I've been like this forever. Even when I was a kid, I was like, my mom would not put up the Christmas tree until Thanksgiving. Like, Thanksgiving weekend, our tradition was we would put up the Christmas tree and then we would watch Wizard of Oz. My mom would make us cocoa and, and we would string popcorn for our Christmas tree. And that was kind of like the day, but I couldn't take it. Like I wanted to watch Christmas shows, put up my Christmas tree way before then. Um, but my mom's like, nope, this is tradition. And so for us tradition, I'll have Christmas trees up here soon. Like I'm just trying to, it, my family's like, please mom, please. So I'm holding out. Usually I have a Christmas tree up by August. I don't even have my fall decorations out. I've been kind of debating like, should I throw Christmas in, like do Christmas in September? Um, Cause y'all know me. I mean, if you followed me long enough, you know, I am the Christmas queen. I don't care. Me and Lucy from Charlie Brown, we are the Christmas queens. We are. And um, I wish I could find like a, that noise to say, I'm the Christmas queen, but I don't know how to do that. But, and so I've really been debating like getting my Christmas decorations out. Um, but, and my, my Izzy loves it. Noah loves it. Um, Robert tolerates it. Haley's like, mm, I get it. Brendan's like, <coughs> David's like, <coughs> and Gideon's like, <coughs> you know, Joshy, he just, whatever mommy loves, Joshy loves. And so I'm just trying so hard to not do it. I'm just ready. Like, I'm just so ready for the holidays. Um, I've been grabbing out all my Radon glasses for you guys. I know I've been telling you this for what, three months that you're going to see my collection. So I've been going through Ben's pulling everything out. Um, and it's, it's a lot easier when I start decorating for the holidays because most of my mugs are holidays. And so I have them all put up into separate Tupperware bins. I just, I've just been so tired, you guys. Like just, I'm feeling better though. I've been sleeping like a baby. Woo, sleeping like a baby. Um, so yeah, I mean, football season's here and I just had to break out the holidays. Does this make you guys like wanna be like, oh yes, Heather did it, let's do it. Yes, get your holiday sweaters out, just do it. I do have the cutest though. 
cutest pumpkin sweatshirt that I love to wear. I'm gonna be getting that out, put my hair in my little Princess Leia buns. I haven't done that in a while. And when I put my hair in my Princess Leia buns, I feel so pretty. <laughs> I know that's like really dumb, but do you ever like put your hair in a certain way or your makeup, there's a fuzzy from my glass. Um, and then you just feel so pretty. And like you walk downstairs, you're like, wow, I feel, I just, that's how the buns make me feel. So whenever you guys see the buns, that means I'm extra happy. I'm having a great, great, great day. And all you, only people who watch this are gonna know this. And, um, and I'm just feeling pretty <laughs> and I just feel like I'm getting there. I need those space buns. And so space buns, princess Leia buns, whatever, I don't know what they call them. So yeah, I'm kind of deciding like, what do you guys think? Like, you think I could get away with, um, grabbing a Christmas tree? Cause I did take down the one tree and Noah's actually decorating it. Cause it was his tree. I have a ton of trees. I told Haley this year that because, you know, Joshua is officially a, um, uh, a BSB farms worker and he is doing so great. Like he gives me his time cards. Um, I showed him how we put money in his account. We went through all that and he's, he has lots of money. Let me tell you guys, this guy's a saver. And then he gets money for working on the farm. He gets money for helping me with videos and he is raking in the dough, you know, like, cause our goal is to hopefully build Joshi a little house. And I know I had mentioned this earlier, um, but we'd like to build him just like a one room studio. We'd like to do it by the wood stove because he is our, like our wood stove filler. And then like an underneath, so where he can park his side by side. And then, but it, you know, but we'd, we wouldn't be able to do like a full kitchen. Like we couldn't have like a stove or anything that like could be left on because he does tend to forget things sometimes. He's kind of forgetful. But just like a run room studio, like if you were in a hotel and you had like a refrigerator and a sink and a bathroom and then like a microwave or things like that, you know. Um, and so that's kind of like, in the works. Um, right now we have a couple of things. We're trying to get our church built. Um, we're going to be shingling. Um, all of us are going to get together and Haley saved up enough money to get her roof redone. So we're going to be doing the shingles. Um, and it's been a very, very busy summer, but that is kind of like on the game plan is to help Joshy get into his little studio home. It's just been really, really busy. Um, and so I'm kind of been like, we've been moving rooms around. So Joshy has his own room now and, um, I'm going to be like, doing a, um, like a little place, like his own place up there. So I'm going to get like a refrigerator and a bean bag and a carpet. And I'm going to, he loves to like listen to music and we have all these patch the pirate and adventures and odyssey CDs. So I'm going to make him a station where he can like have like a radio and he can listen to the CDs and then have like his own little fridge. And so that's in the making too. That's kind of on my list. Um, just so he can have like his own private time, his own time by himself, um, even though he just loves being around me and dad. And a lot of people think it's me. Like I'm hovering him. I'm a helicopter mom. I'm not letting him do things. Let me tell you guys, it's not me. Like, it's not me. Like, 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 um, you know, when we got the job, like, you know, we, he went and he applied for the job at this grocery store and, and, um, I went with him, but I kind of stayed in the back and I let him do like his own interview. I didn't answer any questions because we really want Josh to have his own independence, gain his own independence, um, be more confident in the decisions that he's making um, because we want him to be able to, you know, as much as possible, like live his own life. And I, I realize there's circumstances where he, you know, there's things that probably, we want him to have everything that he can have. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, he does have limits, but we, we just don't limit our children, even Joshua. You know, we, he, he drives loaders and tractors and helps drive, you know, farm trucks, you know, back and forth to the fields. And so we don't limit Joshua. We let him do whatever he wants. And right now, you guys, oh my goodness, he is um, starting a firewood business. He's, I, I can't keep up with Josh. I need to do a day in the life of Josh and just follow him around. We couldn't find him yesterday. And he was all day bagging up apples because he wants to sell apples for a business. And I woke up this morning, you guys, and I have to show you. I'm going to show you. Let me go grab it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, let me do this side because this is cute. So he's trying to do a firewood business and an apple business. And I told him I would help put his sign together to put it at the road. Look at this. I don't know if it's backwards or not. It says firewood for sale. I came downstairs and this actually put me in tears. He came down and he's starting to write a list of things he wants to do. And this one is to do firewood. And I think he's going to use this as a sign. So I think I'm going to help him get like, um, like a piece of plywood and we can do like spray paint and stuff. So 
Joshy is busy starting deer apple business. And so I think I'm going to take him out to the fields today and we're going to, I'm going to help him bag up apples and then make him a cool sign. And we're going to find a place that like people can see. I think I'm going to actually put it on my Facebook page so people can know what he's doing because people love Josh and I know that they will support him. Um, but he's, he's pretty excited. Like when he got his first paycheck through BSB farms. And so I sat him down we looked at his account. I said, so what do you want? Do you want me to put all this into your account or do you want some for spending? He goes, no, put it all. So I showed him exactly what we do. He sat by me. He checked off his time card. He's like, okay, mom, I need another time card. I said, yes, you do. So he, you know, maybe, you know, cause we weren't able to give him, get him up. He was being really crabby. And since he started this job with the farm and has his own time card, cause he does still work at the grocery store, but it's just part time. Um, but he really loves the farm. And so now that he has these things that are his, he's just, I feel like he's very, he's thriving. He's waking up, hugging me. He's happy. I get so many snuggles from Josh. I'm telling you guys, this kid, and he's got this like flowy hair right now. And he's really excited about his flowy hair. So I keep taking it and clipping it to the side. And he thinks it's the funniest thing ever. I said, we need to trim that hair. He's like, no mom, I want flowy hair. And what do you do? He wants flowy hair. And so anyway, um, he's just doing so well, you guys, like great. Um, and then Gideon is doing wonderful. He has been studying. He's in the library. You know, he, oh my goodness, he wants to do, he wants to study Bible history and just like history in general, wants to do youth ministry. He has found some great friends. I mean, just the, and he says, you know what, mom, we're, we're not all perfect and we're kind of nerds. He says, but we don't care. We're just here to have fun. And we don't care if people stare at us or point at us. He says, we are just trying to just enjoy each other and have fun. And I, and that's how I raise my kids just to have fun, you know, not to have to be perfect or do this or do this or look a certain way. We just, we don't care for nerds. <laughs> we don't care. We just want to enjoy life. And I just, just to see my kids just doing so wonderful, Robert with his business and Brennan's talking about doing a business and Izzy Haley has been so responsible with her home taking care of it. And, you know, my David has big plans to hopefully take over like the haying business. And, you know, he's kind of looking for a place to stay too. And Brennan's looking at a house, you know, I mean, my kids are just doing so wonderful. Izzy wants to, she wants to turn our chicken farm into a riding arena because she wants to, to um, train horses, board horses and do summer camps and training and horse classes for kids. And I mean, and, and she, she's so excited and Noah wants to have his own welding or construction business. I mean, my kids, you know, they're just, they work harder than me. Like they really do work harder than me. They just have just huge goals. And I give all the credit to my husband because my husband is that way. Like he, he just has instilled in my kids, these wonderful work ethics and just how hard he works and how much he invests into our children and invests into their dreams and their goals. And I'm just overly blessed for the family God has given me. Just my husband, how wonderful he's doing despite dealing with, you know, the aches and pains. And he just keeps going and just how he puts so much time into our church and the people in our church. And I make him lunch because I can't build things, but I try and do what I can and I want to support him. And just to see how well my children are doing and they're just flourishing. And let me tell you guys, we have problems. We're so far from perfect. We have issues. We have problems. We have struggles. There's times where we can't pay our bills. I mean, we're like you guys. We struggle with everyday things. You know, I've been very, very frugal with um, what I'm spending just because I don't know how the future is going to look, you know, and I hear hard times are coming. So I'm trying to build our pantry up and, and I'm very careful with what I'm spending. And we pretty much buy the same thing every grocery haul. You know, um, try to, if anything's on clearance, like I am there, you know? And so I just, you know, as I end this, I am just like so grateful and thankful for everything I've been given for my family, for my kids, for my health, for my house, for our businesses, for the support of you guys. Um, you know, a lot of people have been asking for the cookbook. I made a big decision and I'm committing, um, going to be committing to a publisher. <laughs> we're actually doing that right now. And so we're hoping to see my cookbook, um, on the shelves of some really big stores. I can't really say too much right now, but, um, I'm truly grateful for that. Very humbled. Cause I'm just like, I just feel like I'm just a small person in this big world. You know, I'm, I'm not, 
I'm a Hollywood star. I'm I'm just I'm just like you guys. I'm just a normal mom who loves her family, wants to take care of her family and her kids and her husband. And I just want to make a difference in this big world. And I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm just like this little small thing in this big, huge world. And and how do I make a difference when I'm just this small, you know? And so I'm I'm I today I'm very humbled and very thankful and. I don't deserve any of it. I, and I know what y'all are going to say because I know I got some wonderful friends and supporters. And you're going to say, yes, you do, Heather. And I truly don't. Like, I truly don't deserve it. And But I'm just very thankful and grateful and blessed. You know that hashtag, thankful, grateful, blessed. I'm truly thankful. I'm truly grateful. I'm truly blessed. And uh, I think I'm going to have to just get a blanket this morning and maybe watch like Elf or... You know what my favorite Christmas show is? And it's a little naughty, but it's so funny is um, Daddy's Home 2. It is so funny. And there are some naughty parts in it. We have to fast forward every time on some of it. But it's hilarious. My second favorite. So I'll tell you here. I know I'm rambling. My three top Christmas shows. Daddy's Home 2. I haven't watched it this year because I'm trying to wait. My second one is um, Fred Claus. Because um, of all the little children in foster care and the little boy at the end gets a home. I cry every time. And when they make up and he kisses his little brother on the head, oh my, which is Santa Claus. I cry every time. And I think my third one is, I'm going to say, um, um, oh, I can't think of it. It's called, uh, it's the one with Tori Spelling and the twins um, from... It's my favorite. I have the, the soundtrack on my phone. It's where they're singing. Um, oh, I can't think of it, you guys. Oh my god, it's my third. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna look. Hold on, before we go, I'm gonna look. Okay, it is the. It's a. It's a. Um, it's a musical, but it's Christmas. I can't believe I can't remember it. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys are like, wow, this is boring. Just drink some coffee really fast. Okay, it is called. Come on, where are ya? Where are ya? It is. I'm getting so close. I oh, I pass it. It is here. It is the Mistletones. The Mistletones. Here's my soundtracks. Moana, Galax Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Mistletones. That's my third favorite. That's my third favorite. I watch them. Oh, and I do like the Twelve Dates of Christmas. That will be my fourth because that one makes me kind of how she replays Christmas Eve until she gets it right and sees what's mo what's more important. So I do love that one too. Um, and I do like, you know, Frosty Snowman, um, Rudolph Red-Nosed Reindeer, but my kids refuse to watch those right now because they're older. So bring on the grandbabies. I honestly, now I'm going to really go. Before I go, I think big things are going to be happening in the Bell family. <laughs> please, please, I'm so ready. I do, I feel it. I feel like the changes. And, you know, I look at my kids, um, the people they're dating and I can see them in our family. Like I can just see how they, they fit. And, um, I'm just really excited to see like our big family with all my grandkids and us getting together for that. <sighs> now I'm crying. Now I'm crying. I just, I don't know. I get emotional when it comes to my family. I don't know. I just love them so much. So anyway, Thank you so much for joining me on this Tuesday vlog with Mom Bell. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for seeing support. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Share. Let's build our page. Share, share. Okay, I'm going to have to go watch Daddy's Home 2 now. Maybe why I am making cookies for Noah's soccer team today, I'll watch Daddy's Home 2 because he's like, Mom, the soccer team wants my cookies again. So I'm going to be pumping out some of my mom Bell's cookies. I'm trying to find out how to do a twist. I want to add even more coolness to them. So I'm trying to think of how to do that. The wheels are turning. Do you remember? All right, guys. See ya. I would want to be ya. Yeah.